Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we discussed the first law, which is DE equals to DQ minus DW. So if you haven't watched the last video, then watch the last video first. Then today we are going to keep going. Then we are going to take a look at the signs of heat transfer and also the work. When would the work be a positive work? When would that be a negative work? Are you ready? So let's go. So as we said last time, we derived the first law, which is DE equals to DQ minus DW. E is energy, Q is heat transfer, and W is work. Then Q and W, they are not a state property. They are path dependent. The energy is a state property, then you can find that out by looking up the property table. Then in thermodynamics, if you have heat in, then it's going to be positive. Then if you have heat out, it's going to be negative. So that's for heat transfer. So positive in, negative out. However, for work, it's totally opposite. So if you have work in, then that's negative. Then if you have work out, that's positive. So you can understand as an engine. So as an engine such as your car, then we want the engine to have work out. So work out is positive. So keep that in mind. Work out is positive and work in is negative. So now let's look at an example to help you better understand the, the heat and the work. So the problem says we have a rigid tank contains a hot fluid that is cooled while being stirred by a pedal wheel. The initially we have the internal energy of the fluid is 800 kilojoule and during the cooling process the fluid loses 500 kilojoule of heat and the pedal wheel does 100 kilojoule of the work on the fluid. So the pedal does 100 of work then to me that's work in because work is getting into the system so does work in the system so it's work in. Then work in, what's the sign of the work? It's negative right anyway so the problem says determine the final internal energy of the fluid then let's take a look at the answer so we start off the first law de equals to dq minus dw then e is energy it's e2 minus e1 equals to dq minus dw then it says originally the internal energy is 800 kilojoule so 800 is over here then it also says the fluid loses 500 kilojoule of heat so that's heat out right heat loss is heat out the heat out is going to be negative right then here is a negative sign so let's keep that then the last term is work so it says the pedal wheel does a hundred kilojoule of the work so does the work so it's work in work into the fluid so work in is negative right so with the calculation that our final energy is going to be 400 kilojoule. So this is this problem. So this is all we have for today. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.